So what is, what's here, Dimitri? This house has been in Dimitris Kardiokos' family for generations. So this is all from the house? Yes, all, all this house, the kitchen. This is to make cake. Mm. And this is for the, to make parmesana for a disaster. This is all the stuff you grew up with? Yes. Nearly two months after his home was destroyed in a catastrophic fire, few items are left. Just decades of memories. Hardest of all is the memory of the day of the fire. Δεν βλέπεις φωτιά στην αρχή, αλλά βλέπεις εστάνες μια ζέστη όπως ανοίγεις το φούρνο που μαγειρεύεις. Που έρχεται σούρκετε η φωτιά όταν ανοίγεις το φούρνο, η ζέστη σε καίει, αλλά δεν βλέπεις φωτιά. Αυτό σου καίει το δέρμα. Δηλαδή δεν είχες δυνατότητα να σοφείς, δεν είχες δυνατότητα να σοφείς. Ανέβηκα στην ταράτσα της πολυκατοικίας που μπορούμε να πάμε μετά και είδα τη φωτιά στα 100 μέτρα. Δηλαδή, αισθάνθηκα ότι η φωτιά έχει περάσει το δρόμο τον Ολυμπιακό και κατεβαίνει. In the panic, Dimitris sent his wife and children to the sea. He then went back towards the fire in a desperate attempt to find his parents. Παρατώντα τα παιδιά μου για να έρθω να σώσω του γονεί, φτάνοντα μέχρι τη γωνία εδώ πέρα στην γωνία, φωτι... το θερμικό κύμα με έκαιγε. Αλλά δεν μπορούσα να φτάσω, δηλαδή έφυγα για τη θάλασσα. Πίστεψα ότι έχουν πεθάνει. Αυτή είναι η αλήθεια. And as you ran down here, how fast was the fire coming? Yes. Was it chasing you down here with the flames? Yes, yes, yes. What was happening? Η φωτιά εχόταν πιο γρήγορα από μένα. Έτρεχα εγώ, έτρεχε και η φωτιά. Και μάλιστα οι φλόγες είχαν, ορισμένες είχαν φτάσει εκεί πάνω. The firestorm chased Dimitris down to this intersection, which was jammed with cars full of people trying to flee. How many vehicles were here at the time? Do you see like 20? Περίπου 100. 100. 100 vehicles? 100. In this corner? Yes. Υπήρχε πανικός. Όσο γρήγορα μπορώ να τα δω, γιατί γυρνώντας από το σπίτι που είχε καεί και προχωρώντας να σώσω τα παιδιά μου που ήταν στη θάλασσα, πέρασα μέσα από αυτόν τον πανικό και βλέποντας εγκλωβισμένους, άλλοι να, να φωνάζουν, άλλοι να έχουν τρακάρει μεταξύ τους. Okay. So and... What did you do? Do you went this way towards the sea? So you came here yes. and where were your, your daughters, where were your children? On the road with my, my wife and mother-in-law. I have video for this. All is on the rock because, on this rock, because all this is burning. Nobody thought this fire would move so far, so fast. There had been no warning to flee. Και του εξηγώ ότι ούτε ελικόπτερα είχε μέσα στην, στην κάπνα εδώ πέρα να φωτίσει τον κόσμο να τον σώσει. Δεν βλέπαμε τίποτα από την κάπνα και ούτε είχε έρθει κάποιος από τη θάλασσα να σώσει τον κόσμο. Σκάγανε τα πάντα, δηλαδή. Και μια κατάσταση πολέμου. Εκεί υπήρχαν κλάματα, φωνές, παραγμοί, αλλά όλοι λέγαμε να ζήσουμε. Dimitri's parents were also in the sea, along with his wife and children. Thankfully, they survived. But among the dead were some of Dimitris's lifelong friends. I have three cousins that are dead, and uh, around 20 persons close friend. One of these is old friend. I know him 30 years. It's difficult to, to lose a person that know so, so well. My daughter lost one close friend. After three days, find mother, father, grandmother, all is dead. After. I think. Sold out, I presume? Yes, yes. yes. 2,000 people? Oh, well, we hope so. 
long way from Mati, Bill Papastergiadis is raising money with Melbourne's Greek community. Uh, I've come to support a great cause, of course, uh, raising money for all those poor people in Greece that just copped it with those fires. It's um, through good cause. Um, a lot of people have suffered. It was perhaps, and in fact it was the worst fire in Europe this century. And so the reason why we're all here today is what we all do as Australians, and in particular as Greek Australians, and that is we show philotimo. We show that we care, and we care when it counts. And thank you very much. When Greece burns, we feel the heat. For Greek Australians, there is almost an umbilical connection to the motherland. Pain felt in Greece, we felt it immediately in Australia. Bill is on his way to Marti. He has $200,000 with him, raised by Melbourne's Greek community, to donate to those who need it most. I'm here to do my bit, as small as it is, to provide some help and some assistance. Bill takes me to meet Marty's volunteer firefighters. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice How to you? meet you. Mike, Bill they were vastly under-resourced that day and are still trying to make sense of what happened. We couldn't wait for this fire. And this is something that has been in our mind and we will never forget it again. So he's, all of them have been significantly affected, emotionally scarred. They will never be able to get over it, ever. Και πραγματικά ζητάμε συγγνώμη από τους ανθρώπους που χάσανε τους δικούς τους ανθρώπους από τις οικογένειες όλοι μας που δεν τα καταφέραμε εκείνη τη μέρα. Nothing in Mike Zagoras' 19 years of service could have prepared him for what he encountered. A group of 26 people who'd lost their lives, huddled together on top of a cliff just meters from the sea. Φαινόταν ότι οι άνθρωποι κάνουν προσπάθειες για να φύγουν προς τη θάλασσα που ξέραν ότι εκεί θα γλιτώνανε και απλά δεν τα καταφέραν. Και ειδικά με τα παιδιά φαινόταν ότι υπήρχε η αγωνία των γονιών τους, των παππούδων να τα προστατεύσουν. Το βλέπαμε αυτό παρόλο που ήταν νεκροί και εννιά παιδιά. Τα περισσότερα παιδιά ήταν όλοι μαζί, τα περισσότερα παιδιά. Βρήκαμε και κάποιους που ήταν αγκαλιασμένους, βρήκαμε και κάποιους που είχαν προσπαθούσαν να φύγουν μόνοι τους. Ήταν μια κατάσταση... What happened to these 26 victims was devastating. But it was sheer luck that saved the lives of another 40 children nearby. Pushed by strong winds, the fire, which started high in the mountains, spread quickly down towards the sea, blazing through the Lirio orphanage. Pater. Καλώς σας βρήκαμε. Εδώ είναι ο κύριος Εύεν. Thank you for seeing us. Was this the orphanage? Was this the after that the orphanotrophio, Pater? One of the houses. Yeah. One of the yeah. So the how house. many were living here at this moment? Here was the Saranda. Then I'm not sure. Roughly 40. 40. 40. Yeah. Yeah. For children who've already experienced loss and abandonment, this house was a refuge. Που ήταν τα αναγνωστήρια των παιδιών. Τα table and the chairs. Και εδώ ένα σπόρο βιβλιοθήκη και αναγνωστήριο. Ό,τι έμεινε από τα βιβλία. Εδώ ήταν η κουζίνα. Αυτό ό,τι έχει μείνει από το ψυγείο. This is the fridge. Miraculously, the day before the fire, the children all left for summer camp. The priest tells me, had they been here, they would have undoubtedly perished. There simply wouldn't have been enough time to get them out. 
there's nothing left. Schoolyards, playgrounds, outbuildings, the accommodation race to the ground. As Bill sifts through the remains, he can't help but think of his own children. As a father, you will offer your life for your children. My children are the reason why I'm involved. I'm devastated by what I've seen today. It's way worse than I'd imagined. The orphans of the Mutty Fire are being housed in temporary shelter. Bill hopes his donations can help rebuild the orphanage. I think it deserves our support and we're here for that reason. It'll be on the ground assistance, immediate relief and immediate support for their needs now, not tomorrow. It's weeks after the fire and the air in these homes is still thick with the smell of smoke. You can literally taste the fire. Thousands of homes like this have been completely destroyed and for many this entire area is a disaster zone. But for some this is actually a crime scene and they want answers. Today, government officials have gathered at this basketball court to try to answer some of those questions. Dimitris is skeptical. This meeting is very much focusing on uh, how toxic is the atmosphere? When's the power going back on? Am I going to get my pension? But you can see with the crowd here, they're not happy with what they're being told by the government. So what's happening in here, man? Εδώ μοιράζουν τα, τα επιδόματα, έτσι οι άνθρωποι κάνουν αιτήσεις. Μέρ Βαγγέλης Μπούνος is trying to help his community recover. But everywhere he goes there is one question. Why weren't people told to get out of Μάτι in time? Ναι, γιατί δεν είχε. Μία καμπάνα, γιατί δεν βρέθηκε να χτυπήσει. Μία καμπάνα, αφού δεν ήμασταν στο μέλλον. Έκανε μία μισή ώρα να κατέβει. Δεν μπορούσατε να εντοπίσετε αλλιώς. Μία καμπάνα, ο Αιγιάννης έφτιαξε. Δεν καταλαβαίνετε κάτι. Εμείς δεν ήμασταν πλέον στο μέτωπο της φωτιάς. Μα θα είχαμε κατά όμορφα πολλά. Μα δεν είμαι εγώ επικεφαλή. Δεν ήσασταν αγκαίοι, είσαστε άχρηστοι όλοι. Κοιτάξτε, ακούσα να ευχαριστώ και εγ The mayor knows he has to bear the brunt of the town's anger. But his family suffered too. Their home was completely destroyed. Where were you on the day the fire started? I was not here, I was not here. I was in the office and I was close to κοντά στο προσωπικό του Δήμου. And your family? Εκείνη τη στιγμή δεν ήξερα, δεν επικοινώνησα μαζί τους. In the chaos, he says he frantically tried to alert the authorities to get help. It's at this stage in the timeline where every second counted. The fire started in the mountains above Marty, not far from the orphanage. Unusually high westerly winds drove it quickly down the hills towards the town. 
It was at this point Mayor Borno says he alerted the operational chief that Marty was at risk. At what point should that evacuation order have been given? Τα πρώτα 15 με 20 λεπτά. Να δει η φωτιά την είδαμε γύρω στις 5 παρα 20 μέχρι τις 5 και 10. Έτσι έπρεπε να έχει δοθεί αυτή η εντολή εκένωσης, ώστε να μπορέσουμε σε μία ώρα να εκενώσουμε τον οικισμό. Who should have given that order? <laughs> I, know, I need to ask. Yes, yes. Ο επιχειρησιακός υπεύθυνος πυροσβεστικής. Right, not the mayor's. You can't do that yourself. No, uh, I haven't this authority. At 5.45, the fire brigade realized the strong winds would push the fire across Marathonis Avenue. Critically, that information was not relayed to the police. Trying to keep the road open for fire trucks, they continued sending cars toward the sea. They were sending people to their deaths. Κάναν παράκαμψη για να συνεχίσω το, από τη θάλασσα που θεωρούσαν ότι ήταν ασφαλή δρόμο. Οπότε εγκλωβίστηκαν τα οχήματα ε, και έτσι κάηκαν περισσότεροι ε, από όσου θα κεγόντουσαν. Κάηκαν 55 άνθρωποι που ήταν διερχόμενοι. Δεν ήταν κάτοικοι τη περιοχή. The mayor says his pleas for help were ignored. Faxes recently released in the Greek press show the Office for Civil Protection, which oversees the fire brigade, asked for fire trucks from the army, but not until 6.03 p.m. It was far too late. Just 15 minutes later, the town of Marti was completely engulfed in flames. Η φωτιά άρχισε και κατέβαινε, έκαψε τον οικισμό από τις 6 και 10, 6 και 4 και εκεί πέρα ε, μετά δεν υπήρχε καμία ελπίδα. The fire trapped all those it didn't kill in the sea. Among them was the mayor's own family. Κοινώνησα μαζί τους γύρω στις 9 η ώρα το βράδυ που ήταν εφικτό ε, και έμαθα ότι ήταν στη θάλασσα που μείνανε εκεί πέρα 5,5 ώρες και έγονταν και μέσα στη θάλασσα από τη, από τη ζέστη το θερμικό κύμα και κατάφερα να τους βγάλω ε, στις 11.30 ώρα το βράδυ. Despite waiting for hours, there was no government rescue. Some were saved by fishermen and private boats. Many simply had to wait until it was safe to leave the water. Finger pointing and blaming between government officials continues to this day. In the aftermath, the lack of action by those responsible came to light. The Deputy Minister for Citizen Protection resigned, and the heads of both the police and the fire brigade were sacked. Dateline requested a response from the Department of the Chief of the Fire Brigade in charge of issuing evacuations. They declined to comment. How many people's lives could have been saved? Αν είχε δοθεί στην αρχή στην έναρξη φωτιά προληπτικό σχέδιο εκένωση, θα είχαν σωθεί όλοι. But despite the mistakes made by a few people at the top, there were many heroes. Chief among them, the ill-equipped volunteer firemen on the front line. As I said before, we don't have all the exoplism at this time to be able to do what we need to do. We need also cars, boats, cars, all those things that are protected from a difficult fight. Bill hopes the donations from the Greek-Australian community can help better prepare them for the next big blaze. Θα ήθελα να ευχαριστήσω τον πρόεδρο τον κύριο Σεραφείμ, τον κύριο Δημήτρη τον Γραμματέα, όλους τους θεθελοντές εδώ που είναι μαζί μας, ελληνική κοινότητα Μερβούνης, η κυρία Μάρθα Τσάμις, προσφέρουμε ένα μικρό ποσό 40.000 δολάρια προς τον εξοπλισμό σας. Και γιατί το κάνουμε αυτό; 
Το κάνουμε επειδή όπου και να μένει ο Έλληνας, πονάει για τον συνάδελφό του. The lives lost in Mati appear to be largely due to human error. But the fire itself was a natural disaster many feel was made worse by a changing climate. So far this century, only the Black Saturday fires in Australia have claimed more lives than the blaze here in Mati. But is extreme heat becoming more common? The reality of climate change in a country like Greece is a harsh reality, and it's a reality that we need to adapt to. So this is the sort of dry pine needles that are left um, after the summer. Mm -hmm. Plenty of it around, as you can see, plenty of the dry pine cones. Dimitrios Karavellas yeah. is the it's president of the World Wildlife Federation it's in Greece. Yeah. It's a fire waiting to happen. For many years, we've been, uh, we've been talking about the reality of forest fires. Uh, forests in Greece and the Mediterranean, because of climate change, are becoming a lot more vulnerable um, and also a lot more valuable. Demetrius has been warning the government that unless they invest in prevention and preparation, more fires like this are inevitable. But that's unlikely to happen in a country brought to its knees by an economic crisis and sweeping austerity measures. We've had a real tough challenge over the last few years because I, I, in times of crisis, I think the response on environmental issues is uh, you know, at best, the environment is a luxury. Um, uh, by others, I think others perceive the environment as an obstacle to development. For a country in financial crisis, how will they find the funds to rebuild? Ευχαριστώ που είστε μαζί μας σήμερα και που μας δίνετε την ευκαιρία να δούμε και από κοντά το ορφανοτροφείο και τις μεγάλες ζωλιές σας. Bill is hoping his contribution can at least help the Lirio orphans. Κάνω μια προσφορά οικογένεια κοκκουβιτάκης και καραμίτους 100.000 σε έπιπλα προς το ορφανοτροφείο. Το The Hellenic Initiative 50.000 δολάρια και επίσης η Πακρίτια Ένωση 10.000 δολάρια. Από την Αυστραλία με αγάπη από εμάς. Σας ευχαριστούμε και μας συγκινεί η αγάπη σας και το ενδιαφέρον σας. Ήθηκε και στην Αυστραλία, αλλά δεν ξεχνάει την Ελλάδα και την έχει μέσα στην καρδιά του. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. I feel like there's so much more I can do, but it's their lives now. They're going to rebuild it in their own way and build their own future. It's inevitable that Greece will experience more fires in the future. This month, the UN warned that by 2040, the world would be facing a climate change catastrophe, likely to bring extreme heat and more severe forest fires. In what way can you quantify the effect of climate change in terms of forest fires here? We do know the temperatures will be higher in the summers to come, in many parts of the Mediterranean, but also in Greece. We do know that there will be stronger winds. So higher temperature, stronger winds, a problematic management system, it's not gonna work. And I hope that something will change after 2018. Will Greece learn from the mistakes of Mati and make sure next time they're ready? <laughs>